regulars, it is I, Rubix, and I am here with a very familiar game again. This is kind of like a trip through memory lane with all these games I've been playing. Um, but I'm here with a game I never finished again, and instead of, you know, continuing on with Base Climb Studios, I got something to report. Save's gone. I'm sorry to say, FaZe Clan Studios is dead. Thank God, a little bit actually, because it was kind of cringe, uh, now that I think about it. But, let us not be stuck in the past, and let's instead, actually we're gonna get stuck in the past right now, because if you ever played Game Dev Tycoon, it explains it all right here, that uh, we go back to the beginning of the PC revolution, which is basically the 80s uh in the next 35 years you can build your dream company create best-selling games gain fans and become the leader of the market look no one cares about no one cares about getting fans or becoming leaders of the market all they want to do is make money and that's what we're here to do we're gonna we're here to make money all right if you ain't talking money you ain't you're, you're talking don't matter okay okay give me a sec give me a second if you okay <laughs> You ain't talking money, then your talking don't matter. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Money, that is God. All right, well let's get on with this and let's just you know continue on. Money, you want to make money? Kind of name should we go for? Well, I know my player name. Alright, now company name. Wow. No. That was that was bad. Oh yes. Let's see this. What's the best hair? Probably that. Do we need like white hair? a Shane outfit. Alright, we're gonna be playing as Shane McMahon. This does not look like Shane McMahon. No hints. Uh, old game. Okay, tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial message, then you can do so in the help menus. Text is the help menu. Other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game. Simply press escape to access the main menu. Well, we started our own very own game development company. SD Tech. Alright. Ooh, I have got this achievement many times. Uh, all right, let's develop a new game. Before the world can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Well, that sounds great. Pick topic, space, sports, ninja, surgery. Sounds like an average weekend to me. No laugh track? Alright. Uh, let's go with the sports game. And of course, knowing we're SD Tech and I'm Shane McMahon, we're gonna have to do. No, not. Okay. We're gonna have to do only one type of game, alright? Of course, on the G64, which was the gamer's PC. The Commodore 64 is what that was in the 80s. Um, until it wasn't. Not even sure, not even gonna sugarcoat it. Died. We all know that. Uh, what should I name this? I've got it. Wow. Okay, we need to be serious here. Um. Ah. Uh, oh no. Wow. I think we've. I. Th there, there's the sound. Here comes the money. We're not gonna track smarts with that song, are we, editor? 
I, well, he doesn't, I don't know why I keep doing that. He doesn't respond in real time. Okay, SmackDown Live. <sighs> what, a lot of story. Okay, let's be honest here. All the gameplay, some engine, a lot of story. Let's be honest, no. But, uh, okay. Even though it's not really faithful. Oh no, Shane's confused. Or maybe concussed, one of the two. Game develop has now started. Yeah, I know how to play this game. I turn off tutorials. I should have turned off tutorials. Ah. There's AK down the drain. I'm a thousand year who should be a hundred thousand year. Oh goodness. Dialogues. Candy Aster Brony level. Okay, let's see. This is just Eugene. I. Got like candy ass jabroni level. We've got Austin 316 promo right here. You got pipe bomb. One of the two. Depending on what kind of person you are. If you're pipe bomb, you're a sick bastard. If you're Austin 316, you're okay. Alright. Artificial intelligence. Put that way up. Level design. Way up. Dialogue. Stay where it is. And we've got ourselves. Bada bing. Bada boom. Realest guys in the game. All right, that's raw. What am I talking about? What year is it? I'm gonna assume it's somewhere like 1985. Basic sounds, of course. Graphic, of course. World design, not of course. We can make story-based sports games later, but right now, we're only talking about SmackDown Live, which is, of course, the pinnacle of sports entertainment games. You've de uh, your development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button. Uh, bugs? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, it isn't. We're not in a 2K, in the 2K era yet. Is it all, is all, is it all the polishing we can do? Oh, no. Look at that. We're just spending money right now, but we gotta spend money to make money. That looks like a pretty finished product to me. And that's what I <laughs> that's what the editor said all the all the time. Development your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you'll be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Show me the, the money! money! Topic and combo. Look at that. Good judgment. That sounds great. Your game is now complete. We'll be handing off to publishing. Woo! Here comes the money! The money! Here we go. Money talks. It's not how that sounds at all. The first reviews for a newly released game, Smackdown Live, came in. I'm kind of miffed that there's two pieces of punctuation there, but let's continue on. All right, closing my eyes, closing my eyes. I'm expecting um, all tens. As we all know, all wrestling games get tens. We speed up this process. Hello? All right, I think that's the last of it. Uh, I'm gonna open my eyes. Three, two, one. Okay. Very good reviews for SmackDown Live, except for all games. It's called a beautiful, I don't think you call it a rugged and tough wrestling simulation game. Very beautiful, alright? Let's talk about code. Yeah, there's a game report, you know, generated game report. Oh. SD Tech, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, SmackDown Live. The game received favorable reviews. W with such a good- Well, excuse me. I'm glad I spared you from that. With such a good start, SD Tech are sure to gain fans quickly. I think that SmackDown doesn't get fans already? This music is kind of loud. I might turn this down. Oh, we charted- We went to the top of the charts at 12! Wow, that is incredibly insane. Oh, over 10k units sold already. Oh, we're gonna beat Raw's ratings. So, so much. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, fix the audio a little bit. So hopefully uh, you can hear my beautiful voice more and you can not hear the game so loudly. At least it was loud in my ears. Might have just made it so the game is nearly non-existent on the video's part. We're just researching a bit. Let's see this here. Uh, Great. Sounds great. Looks great. 
it's pretty much Trish Stratus Grig. Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Trig Jigman. Oh. Look, tutorials, I know! I'm not a candy ass jabroni, alright? Why is there so many resolutions? Oh, uh, yeah, it's because I literally made my company after Shane McMahon. Wait, how much RP do I have? 23? Okay, let's just research one game topic right now. Oh my god. Sergeant Slaughter Boot Camp. Holy sh nizy. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna Spectre Online's off the market. Oh no, sad days. Sad news. See, recent market studies suggest that the the Commodore 64, I'm just gonna call it that, is suddenly outselling the competitors in the PC sector because custom zoomers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Well, experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, I nearly hurt myself doing that. Uh, but no, it's not true, obviously. Unless you're from an alternate future and you're watching this on some sort of Commodore computer. How'd you get here? Can you tell me your secrets? All right, we're back in black. That was cringe. This is cringe. Bobby's gonna hate me. Okay, Sergeant Slaughter's boot camp. It's gonna be great. 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 Oh, God. Give me a sec. Let me restart this. But I'll cut this out. All right. Let's see this. Sergeant Slaughter's Boot Camp. Military strategy on the G64. All right. Let's continue on with this. Start development. Uh, we can look at game history. What does this tell us? Respect our lives. Sports. 30k units sold. It uh, cost a lot of money. It made a lot of money. It's all about the money. If you ain't talking money, then you're talking no matter. Why can I say that at the beginning? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh see this look story and quest stays around the same actually engine actually i think it's all pretty good uh i want to be i, I don't want to be go up all sips right now dick ripping competition right here uh because that'll be pretty bad um i don't need to be a copycat number one number two i don't need a lawsuit filed against me for my total lack of knowledge about this game even though I've had it for like three years. I think that really shows something that I'm completely inept at this game, but I've had it for around three years. Uh, all right, Sergeant Slaughter's boot camp. What does it need? Uh, okay dialogues. Uh, good AI over level design, I believe. And um, you know, just ship. Okay, we'll press a button. So uh, ship that over to the next stage of development. We gotta wait, we gotta get this new engine, all right? So we can be so much better than the competi other competitors. That yeah, it's it just uh, that it's so we're so good that there's no one can compete. Uh, 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 world design, graphic, sound, strategy game. So it's very similar to a simulation, in my opinion. So I think we might just be almost all good just doing that. Ooh, according to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento... Ninvento? Menthols? Well, it <laughs> Well, uh, it, I forget what that said. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, well, it uh, seems like this is pretty much done, so let's uh, ship it out to publishing. We Okay, look, a little bit of video game trivia. Gaming industry trivia. Back in the 80s, piracy was such a big problem that you keep you had to keep shipping out sequels and stuff in order to keep from pirates getting on your back, you know? In order to keep hot, fresh products out as well and keep making money so you didn't just get everything, you know? Uh... Game review. Well, I gotta close my eyes again. Before I do that, I just say, yeah, you'd have to like keep releasing sequels in order to continually make money. But it was a lot of work, and that's why video games kind of were trash sometimes. Uh, but now let's just uh, pray for good reviews. Oh, please, 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 Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene? No, that's the wrong Mary. Okay. 
Um, better than nothing actually. N not as not as good as the last one. Um, but but it was good. It wasn't a bad game. It wasn't a good game. It was the game. No, I feel dirty saying that. Oh god. <laughs> Mixing Triple H and Roman Reigns. Gra graphics not that important for this type of game apparently. I wasn't informed about that. So, you know, you you learn, you live, you love, all right? It's my motto, okay? It's not my motto actually. Uh to Shane McMahon from Patrick and Daniel Klug or Klug, one of the two. Um or something completely different. Probably not that. Probably got terrible names. Greenheart Games. Uh, hi, Shane McMahon. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and support. This is like the fifth letter I've gotten in the game. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. I'm pretty excited for their next game as this game was pretty great. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. This is uh, Greenheart Games. Go to that um, and buy this game or buy it on Steam if you're interested in this game because it is a great game if you're interested in tycoon games. I'm always been a big fan of the tycoons, you know. I've been a big fan of the raccoons, you know. Uh, let's produce another game. Just completely pumping out games completely. Okay, let's just see. <gasps> Got cyberpunk. I always got cyberpunk in the beginning. I can't use it, even though it's a great genre, which is really pff, meh to me. Well, let's just think here. Done sports. You've done military, surgery, space, and ninja. Hmm. Guys, guys, guys. Look, I'm not talking about Sin Cara here. I'm just saying, Lucha Ninja, it works, okay? It works. Okay, look, no, 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 okay. Okay, I made something a little bit less controversial. How about we go with Ariel Assassin in order to, uh, you know, tribute, pay tribute to the Ariel Assassin, Will, Will McMahon. Wait, Will McMahon? No, what? No. <laughs> Will McMahon! No, I meant Will Osprey! Will <laughs> McMahon! Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> There's not one that, uh, uh, in the McMahon family. There's no Will. Then now that I think about it. Well, Aerial Assassin. Let's get on with it. You're gonna follow the life of Will Osprey as he ninjas his way through the game. As an aerial assassin. That's what he is, everyone. That's what Will is. Yeah. Uh, dialogue's a little bit lower. Because this is indie, we do not have the budget. That was a little bit up. Sergeant Slaughter's boot camp about to go off the market, probably. Uh, basic sounds, world design, graphic. Graphics, I always have it top. World, world design can go above sound, I think, in this one. Okay, yeah, it's off the market. Sold 20,000 units. I wonder if that was more than, um... Smackdown Live did. I hope it wasn't. But you never know. It's been a year already? The platform has been released already? My, my, how the time flies by. Oh, goodness. Gotta be here forever. <sighs> all right i've been waiting for a bit and it seems like these bugs are all fixed out and we're losing money by the minute so let's just get on with releasing aerial assassin it's not record breaking but it's good look we leveled up our gameplay look that's never a bad thing all right leveling up anything else we should probably press this to speed it up no, but we leveled up our gameplay. This means that we have some pretty innovative gameplay. Here's a game review, and it's time for the look of face. Oh, closing my eyes. How oh, can you see? Oh, dead meme. How can you see dead meme? Door needs door. 
Oh no, no one's gonna get that. All right, I think they've all stopped, so let's just get on with it. Hey, seven. That's it, seven. We have enough research points for our engine. Oh wait, let's generate a game report too, so we have some extra. Solid seven game on Aerial Assassin, Will Osprey. Hi there, I've just finished Aerial Assassin and I'm impressed with your talent. Well, thanks, uh, SmackDown Live has some pretty good talent, like, uh, James Elverty, just talent, Gene Ambrose, uh, let's be honest. Uh, I lay, I'm in the contracting business and we could use some skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you, Jason Jordan. That's pretty opposite roles right now. Contracts have been unlocked, everyone. We now have... Almost a free guaranteed pass to some more research points. Ninja and actions, great combinations, dialogues is not very important. Uh, good genre match between the platform. That sounds pretty dandy. And I knew I'd make it through. Alright? I knew I would be victor- No, I can't check this marks again. Not again. Never again. Let's do a contract. Get our engine. And then we'll probably round off the episode there. Uh, let's see this. Let's do some library software. And we're gonna get research points regardless, so. Pretty glad about that. Like one. Okay, we might not finish this though. I'm not gonna be pretty glad about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh no! I was just one point off! What? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Thanks, Jason, for not holding any grudges. Okay, research. Researching the custom game engine uh, now so that we can get a custom game engine. Aerial Sat's not off the market. It sold 23 copies. That, yeah, I think that was like 1,000 more copies than Sergeant Slaughter's Big Bash Jamboree. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Custom game engine. Uh, okay, that sounds great. Hey, you can create your own game engine. So you get this started, close the message, and click anywhere. Game tutorials. Oh, that sounds like it'd be pretty useful. <sighs> let's do some sprite sheet software so we can get some more points. And let's see if we can research a new topic. And then I'll round off the video. It's getting pretty long, actually. A lot of editing we're going to have to do. Oh, look at that. Nice job. Nice m. m Okay, let's just take a quick look uh, at all of our games that we've released so far. And SmackDown Live is been a, it was a sports simulation game. It sold 30,000 units, uh, most selling game that we have. Uh, cost $54,000 to make, but we made $212 with a profit of $158,000, right? It was released in the fourth month on the third week. Average review score was 8. It had, we gained 224 fans from it, and it debuted at 12. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter's Boot Camp. Unit sold was only 20k, I thought it was 22 actually. Costs are 62k, so it costs more to make than the last game, and it gave us less profit and income, had a generally less re average review score, gave us less fans, and debuted at number 26 instead. Um, Aerial Assassin, Will Osprey. Uh, sold 23 union units, but still doesn't come close to SmackDown Live, which was a shot in the dark and we hit something. Uh, it cost $62,000 to make. Made more than Sergeant Slaughter's Boot Camp, I think? Yeah, it did. Um, profited more from it than Sergeant Slaughter's Boot Camp. And it was made, uh, this year. Three months ago. No, four months ago. Uh, if you look at these two. Average review score was seven. We got a lot more fans than Sergeant Slaughter's Bootcamp from it, and it debuted in a worse place, though, uh, which is weird. Oh, there you go. It says that Tez is being great, and he loves playing with controller more than he loves playing with a keyboard, which I think is a bunch of balloons. And while we're doing this contract work, I'm just going to do the outro here. So, that looks like that'll be it for this video, and, uh... I'll remember my lines later, apparently. And also, I failed a contract, which, um, was pretty interesting because I...
Ah, why won't you press on thing? Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, what was I gonna do? Nothing. I wasn't gonna buy anything. So that will be enough. It, it this for that. <laughs> that will be it for this video. And uh, bring him back, Game Dev Tycoon. And we're not stopping till we die, which will be very soon for me. I'm very unhealthy. Okay. Um, and we're not stopping until the company goes under. For and I'm because I'm Shane McMahon. Actually, I'm not in Rubik's. And you have been watching. Botch. I mean, quick play. That's a botch. That's a botch. Hear that, everyone? That's a botch. That's what I call a botch. You hear that? That's what I call a botch. That's what I call a botch. Everyone call. Botch me. Round two.